My name is Toya Lynn Paramore Thomas, and we lived here in Eureka a few years ago. I pretty well grew up here, Eureka and Fort McCoy, fished the river, fished and hunted, and we owned property that my grandfather Paramore had bought in 1892 here on the river, and we called it the field place. Um, and we moved down to it and lived on it, and then the Cross Florida Barge Canal came in, and in 1965, and took our property. There was about seven and a half acres on the land, and it went from the road that goes into the fishing pier uh, across the river that we know now all the way to the Dead River was the boundaries on our property. Of course, part of that was swamp part of the time. But um, there's a high hill this way, and our house sat up there. There's also a spring behind the house where we had right behind it at the back door kind of and made a little creek down to the river. Uh, surely I know parts of it's there now. Um, it was a very stressful situation to uh, lose it in court. We battled it in court, lost, of course. We were one of very few families that got their homes taken. Most were camps and hunting camps and things like that that the people owned that were, was taken. But they took our home, and it was very stressful for my father, who had loved the place and wanted to live there for always. And all his life, his dad had owned it, and then him. Um, so after we moved out, we had to be out by April the 1st, I believe it was. We moved to Fort McCoy, where we'd build a house very hurriedly. And uh, then, unknown to us, they auctioned the house off to a bidder that got it for practically a few dollars in moving costs. And so he moved it to south part of Eureka here and then sold it to someone that worked for him periodically. And uh, as far as I know, the house is still there. I assume someone's living in it. It was a wood frame, cracker-style house. Uh, I don't know what I can say other than I'm not happy still about the ecology and everything that's happened with Cross Florida Barge Canal situation and it being held in limbo here all this time when so many of us have, of the old timers particularly, have worked so hard trying to get it re restored and the dam breached. Um, quite frankly, I think the government needs to invest in a stick of dynamite and go on and take care of their business that they've had on those sheets for a long time. That is.